Dang, you've been around for a year. <laughs> Alright, so we're facing uh this rank 245 player and Mercury A, dude. Thanks for the thanks for the sub. Co-host of the Route 1 podcast? Yes? I thought so. Okay. So this is a Cali Ice plus. Wow, they really hate Ferrothorn. Like, <laughs> like if I get an iron defense off, it's over. Like, that's bad. Um, I'm thinking what I can do is I can just lead off with Dialga Ferrothorn, and there's very little reason not to do that. Um, we'll bring our Incineroar, and I think my last Mon is going to be the Grim Snarl. Actually, you know what? Maybe I actually lead off Dialga Grim Snarl, and then bring Ferrothorn into Incineroar in the back. I think that's what I do. Can anyone recommend me something that like stops me from getting congested every time like the the snow outside melts? Because that's been happening recently. When you finish the day's Moxie boosted YouTube video and he goes live immediately after, that's like half of the reason I actually started like streaming at this time is because like I upload at three and or noon and or noon and three, uh, and then. Some, most people have, will have already watched the video and then 5.30 rolls around and it's like, okay, time for a stream. Little Goat Plus made it to a stream. Hey, congratulations. And thank you for wishing me luck, Kazo. Yeah, like they, their team hates Ferrothorn so much. You think you're blocked? What do you mean? I mean, I can, I can read your message. Hey, thank you. Oh, yo, I'll take it. Oh, I meant to lead off Grim Snarl. Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. That's not very poggers. However, and hey, Lil Goat, thank you so much for the sub. That's not very poggers. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That's no bueno. Um, Actually, I can probably just prevent Trick Room out, right? I kind of want to... I kinda, hey, and thank you. Oh, geez, we're getting, that's a lot of subs. Lagon Cobra, thank you. Man, he can't just switch into this, can he? Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for a Max Quake into you, and I'm gonna hard switch in my Ferrothorn, fully accepting I'm about to take a ton of damage. How much donation for rental codes? I should probably start making those. I'm just, I don't know. The reason you guys don't get too many rental codes from me is literally, I used to do them so much more often, but I'm in my senior year of college and I'm applying for jobs right now. Uh, so I've just been like super busy. So essentially like my process for making videos used to be, I make the team, I make a couple of videos and I get the rental code up for you guys as soon as I'm done using the team. But I swear I have not like released a code in like months. And that's literally just because like, just like that extra effort of like making a breakdown of the team afterwards and dropping a code just seems like, uh, I don't have time, but I'll, I'll get around to it eventually. Also, I'm really curious what he did. Origin Pulse, that bounces off. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's also Life Orb. I don't get why people are running Life Orb. Like, I, I do not... I do. I simply do not vibe with Life Orb on, 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 the, uh, on the Kyogre. You know? You guys want to see me get to, like, maximum defense? I'm going to Quake you again. I'm gonna iron defense here. If they let me set up, <laughs> if that if they let me set up all the way, like they're gonna have a huge issue. I think the only way they can break this is with like, like they would need to like have darkest lariat and like a choice band on that incineroar. Nothing really comes into this. Yeah, you don't you don't need this very well. Get my iron defense off. And this is going to do a decent chunk because I'm life orb. Eerie impulse. Okay, it's not going to do a decent chunk, but uh, I'm going to get at least two... <laughs> I'm going to get at least two iron defenses off before this guy can attack me. Kazza, let me know when you're back and I'll, I'll let you know what I said. Because you got an ad. My bad. Okay. I'm already at plus two special defense, and I know for a fact they're about to Dynamax this thing. Hello? 
Communication. Communication. Oh, they're big mad. They're big mad. They realized. They realized that this Ferrothorn was gonna wall them out. And they said, no. I'm not playing this game. I'm disconnecting now. Oh, wait, was that me? No way that was me. I'm still on the internet. Yeah, I'm still on the internet. Okay, so... That couldn't have been me. I have an ethernet cord right here. I have no reason to disconnect. I was winning that game. Okay, I'm gonna say I probably didn't lose that. I better get double points for the next game. Um... Oh yeah, so basically I'm, I'm in my senior year and I have so much on my plate that I just keep forgetting to make time to do like breakdowns of the teams and release codes. So mostly I've just been like battling and like saying like, hey, here's the team. I'll usually do a pokey paste, but I tend to do them in batches. So like at the end of the month, I'll take all the teams I use and just throw them in Discord. Okay, so that's a Shedinja on a... On, 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 what was it? That was a Shedinja on a non Kyogre team. Oh wait, that was me and Moxie Boosted name a more iconic duo. Yeah. <laughs> there was no way that was me, because I would have lost points. Because you lose points for that, and I was still on the internet. Okay. Uh, I think Lando on lead here is pretty good. Uh, but also Di Dialga goes kind of crazy. I have to be careful. I definitely need to bring Incineroar. And Landorus. Because I need options for actually beating the Shedinja. I think what I can do here is I want to lead off Dialga. Grim Snarl. I have to bring the Incineroar. I need I need methods to beat this guy, and I don't like that. Here we'll do we'll, we'll do Lando Grim Snarl. And we'll bring uh Incineroar Kyogre. No no Dialga this game. No Dialga this game. All right. That was disappointing. I was in a winning position. But man, I hate facing Shiden just so much. Um, I mean, most of them are safety goggles now because a lot of Groudon carry max Rockfall. So it's like very easy just to get rid of it. And a lot of Kyogre carry max Hailstorm. So you only have to land the hit on them once since they're never running, you know, since, since they're like never running... Um, Focus Sash now. Alright, Ground on Sogalio. I'm pretty happy with that lead. Tonight's when it resets. I honestly forgot tonight's the night it resets. I forgot today was the 31st. Okay, um, Reflect is definitely my friend, and I don't want to give him a weakness policy. I think I'm going to do something a little bit controversial here. I'm going to Swords Dance immediately. Because Groudon shouldn't stay in. It's been intimidated, and I'm definitely getting screens off. And I would imagine Solgaleo would just Steel Spike the, uh, would just Steel Spike into the Grim. I've ever tried to get number one. I've actually, I don't, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. That's definitely like a project I should work on. It's just like a serious number one push. But um, I think the reason I've just never gotten around to it is literally just, I don't feel like it. <laughs> you could argue it's like a, it's like, oh, maybe I just think I'm going to fail, but not really. I think, I think it's mostly just like, hey, I, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I want to, I, how do I say it? To make a number one push, you have to really commit to a team and, like, stick with it for a while. And that's, like, your best method of doing that. Um, I really like using a bunch of, like, different stuff all the time, always. <coughs> so I don't think a number one push is, like, really in my nature. I could try it eventually, though. Uh, I'm gonna Quake here. I don't think Incineroar would want to stay in. I could airstream too. Airstream is really risky though. 
I'll tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to Spirit Break and Airstream because that guarantees a KO. And it also catches Shedinja on the switch in. I think that's my best play. Because I really don't want Shedinja to come in, but I also don't want the Incineroar to live. And I, I don't need Light Screen. Like, they have three physical attackers. Yeah, uh, I'll eventually make a number one push, I think. Yeah, that's that's how I am, oops. Like, I definitely like team building a little too much to stick to a single team. Alright, my bet is going to be just Steel Spike into the Grim Snarl, which I don't really mind. Okay, let's see if I get the KO. I really doubt I do. Oh, I do. Okay. Apparently no need for that. Mir V, how you doing, man? Sorry I didn't get back to your second message. I've had a lot of homework this week. Oh, jeez. Is that a crit? I feel like it shouldn't do that much unless it's like Life Orb. No, that's just normal damage. Behold, the world's lamest spirit break. Would you consider tournaments after college and you get settled at your new job? 100%, 100%. Like, I, I still sometimes do tournaments. Um, I'm, I'm guaranteed going to be able to go to... Uh, which one is it? To Milwaukee this year. But that's only because, like, I'm, I'm like, seriously planning on it. Like, like, okay, this is the one I'm going to, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not going to have a reason not to go. And it's also like right at the end of the year when I'm already done with all my stuff, so. I'm actually gonna give up the Kyogre here. And I don't know if give up's the right word. Um, I'm gonna get the Kyogre in here and likely take a lot of damage. And the reason I do that is because if there is a Shedinja in the back, Incineroar is much more important to keep around. You go into the VR tour that's happening next week. Is it in person or is it, um, or is it online? Closed team sheets? Oh, thank you. Dude, I hate open team sheets, and thanks for the bits, dude. Open team sheets is like... How do I say it? Open team sheets feels like I'm not playing Pokemon the same way that I would otherwise. And that's not to say that I would usually like just cheese things, right? I'm not the type of dude that just likes to build cheese strats in Pokemon. It's that I legitimately feel that learning what your opponent is running throughout the game and getting an understanding for their team is is a skill that has to be built to play the game okay um i think there's no reason not to quake here ah uh, there is a legitimate reason not to quake there is i have to airstream the groudon because i always get the ko on groudon or whatever comes in um and if and if shit Ninja comes in then i get that because I would say, if, if Groudon protects there, I still get the KO, and then I can avoid giving this thing a weakness policy, and then just come come from behind with a Water Spout and win. Or, uh, or an Origin Pulse. Open Team Sheets are dumb, is that what you mean? Yes. Open Team Sheets are dumb and stupid and dumb. Open Team Sheets takes away a part of Pokemon's skill expression. I guess, yeah. I don't know. I, ju I just like... I like the fact that I have to scout for items and stuff. Like, I think that's a real thing people need to get good at. Okay. Um, it is... In this instance, I believe I win. Because... Because... I go into Incineroar here, on the Glide. No, 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 no. I go into Grimstar here on the Glide, and I go into Incineroar in this one uh, for the Steel Spike, or the, the, what's the move? To catch the Sunsteel Strike, that's what it's called. Would this be a bad time for a team review? 
Um, I mean, I can probably do a team review after this game. That bounces off. Awesome. Sunsteel Strike. Yeah, I will agree that, like, talking to people and people who are, like, well-known in the community are more likely to get info. That is, like, a legitimate thing that could cause, like, uh, an imbalance in, in, like, how the game's played and could cause someone to have, like, a much greater advantage. Um, but I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. Like, it only really matters for top cut. And at that point, like, if you went with friends, someone's gonna tell you. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm gonna get in Landers here. And I need to get rid of Rillaboom, so I'm actually gonna... Do I fake out here? I think I fake out here. On the Sogalio. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they're running Life Orb Rillaboom. It could be, like, maybe they're, like, just EV'd to get, like, some kind of crazy one-shot. Like, maybe they're G-Max and they can somehow one-shot a Palkia. <laughs> Thoughts on the Scavalier in Series 12? A Scavalier is one of those Pokemon that on paper should always be good, but is always very niche and hard to use. And that's all I really have to say about it. It can work. It's just very hard to make it work. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, my win con's getting rid of Rillaboom, so I'm gonna actually go for Fly and Flare Blitz. Because <laughs> most Rillaboom can't actually deal with that. And it's at minus two. I believe I still have a turn of screens. They all, and also, most Rillaboom don't run Protect, so this should be fine. Uh, we'll go for the Flare Blitz here. I don't want to activate Weakness Policy, because I could make this game a nightmare. He actually doesn't go for the Grassy Glide. Could be going for a High Horsepower. Goes for the Sunseal Strike there. Awesome. We avoid that. Goes for the Knockoff. I'm going to lose my Safety Goggles. He probably thought I was Barry. And he's Life Orb, so... Yeah. This should do a decent amount. I wouldn't even say it's Incineroar that ruins... A Scavalier. I think it's just that a Scavalier has to be under Trick Room, and its attack stat isn't high enough to justify using it in that position. It's got really good bulk, and it's got a phenomenal typing. Bug Steel's so good, right? Uh, but it, it it just struggles to find a place on a team where it can always do something reliably, you know? That's its main issue. It's hard to find a reliable spot for it on a team. All right, here I'm actually going to switch out into the Grimmsnarl, and I'm just going to hand that over, because I'd like to have another opportunity to fake out if I can get it. Good luck in your matches, Marcos. Evening class is killing my name, or is calling my name. Dude, good luck, dude. I hate evening classes. All right, got rid of that. Because my, my philosophy with team building has pretty much always been don't use something if it's just a worse version of something else unless it does something better for a particular team. So, like, the one and only time I've been able to use Golisopod to any, like, real competitive, like, use, like, where it's, like, good, good, where I wouldn't just say, oh, yeah, no, I pretended like it was good because I really wanted it to work, um, was when... I am going to get in the Incineroar here. Was when I actually ran it as um, an activator for... I think there's one... Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. All right, no, I did run out of Reflect, so I can Reflect here. Was when I ran it as uh, an activator for Colossal. And I actually EV'd it, so... If I were to Aqua Jet my Colossal and then get hit by something, I would always go down to like exactly 49% from like common moves like Electroweb from Regieleki uh, and that would hit me down to 49% so I would end up switching out and I could go for a max flare with my Colossal at plus two with maximum speed onto something and because I got automatically switched out I was able to bring in a Venusaur that had sleep powder and the sun was up so now I had a the sun up a Colossal at plus six speed plus two special attack and a Venusaur that could put whatever it wanted to sleep. And that was the only time I actually made, like, Golisopod work. Is because it fit that one specific role. 
that I could run safety goggles on it to prevent a Moongus from ruining my, my Aqua Jet, but also I could run, um, but also I could run essentially an eject button. It's like, that was the thing. Like, that's the only way it worked for me. Okay, uh, here we can just go for the Flare Blitz. And I'm going to Swords Dance here because it's technically safer. <laughs> Imagine getting the protect called. Yeah, no, they were hoping I would earthquake there and knock out my own, my own Incineroar, but I was like, nah, nah, I'm not about to do that. There's no need. There's no need. Okay, let's KO this guy. Plus two earthquake from Lando. Lando's so nice in this format, man. Just the fact that Sun's so common, like Lando does really great into it. White Herb is also just a great item. Ooh, we got a team review. Um... Could you do me a favor, Hash Ketchum? Could you redeem the points for the team review? Oh, did that not KO? That just didn't... Oh, I forgot that he has, like, a defense boost. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's why we got the Kyogre out of there. There we go. All right. Uh, I'll open that up. And he actually decided to go for something not named Landorus. I'm, I guess he went for the Earthquake there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't believe I can lose here. Even if he protects. Thunder is technically my best play because I can't miss. And it should KO from this range. Imagine if I Swords Danced again, just to flex. All right. Yeah, that's within range. All right. There we go. And that's game. Nice. That was a really good game. Let's see how many points I get. And I'm going to do my best not to press the continue battling button. I'm not... If you're new to the stream, I'm notorious for forgetting to do team reviews because I press continue battle. I just want to see what my ranking is. I think here, uh, we go... Lando, Grimmsnarl, Kyogre, Incineroar, no Dialga. Yeah. Okay. What would you recommend for a below average, maybe average player asking for a friend? Like, to use? Because there are certain teams I would say are really good for learning, right? I would, uh, and here's here's like a hot take I have. I don't think Zacian's a good Pokemon to teach someone how to play Pokemon with. There's just too much nuance to it. Okay. Um, I can get Incineroar in here and get off my light screen. That's probably more important. Get in the Incineroar. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I should get I should get light screen off here. Cause I'd like to imagine they're like focus sash. <laughs> this also catches either Ice Beam or Spore. Thanks to our safety goggles. Foul play? Okay. No Spore? Interesting, interesting. The fact that there's no Spore is a little crazy. Um, I should be able to, like, always go for a Flare Blitz here. Like, very, very safely. And I'm gonna go for a Reflect. Yeah, if I can get rid of Amoongus early, like, this is gonna be a really, really good game for me. 
Oh, it looks like I'm going to be able to uh, deal some major damage to this guy. Oh, he tried it. He tried it. Let's see if he sash. Probably doesn't even need to be. Yeah, he just lives it. Reverses the Trick Room. A bold play. Very bold play, because now I can always Flare Blitz this thing. Yeah, are we out of Trick Room now? Yeah. Um, I'm going to get my Lando back in because of that. Is there a reason to get Lando back in? Not really. I'm just going to Spirit Break here in case the um, Charizard comes in. Ally Switch? Okay, I hate this guy. I at the very least get more damage. That did a decent amount. Okay. Um, there's no reason not to just Flare Blitz the Amoongus again, I think. Like, I'm not really scared of what they do. I think they're just trying to stall out screens. But even if they are, like, this isn't a good way to do it. Oh, okay. Alright, do they have Protect? Okay. Yep, there's the Protect. Here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have Screens up. I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. I don't think Amoongus stays in. But they shouldn't be able to take my Incineroar from me if I go for a parting shot here. And go hard into my Landorus. Whew. And Amoongus is in range of Earthquake, so I don't have to make a call. A good sword, I should live that. Oh, I don't? Hello? Are they gonna foul play me? No way. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Okay. This is no longer epic. Okay, we have to go Kyogre here. Um, Amoongus is in range of Water Spout, but there's definitely a Groudon in the back. Luckily, I do have screens, though, so I think I just Water Spout regardless and attempt to Rock Slide until I wake up. Or maybe, you know what? I'm going to Swords Dance because it doesn't matter what I do this turn. I'm asleep. But yeah, that was uh, that was some unfortunate. <laughs> that was some uh, some unfortunate positioning for me. I really thought I would take that. I mean, they were at minus one and I had screens up. Alright, they let me take the Amoongus, which is great. They're gonna Behemoth played the Lando. This is at minus, or it's at neutral behind screens, so. Oh no, they're gonna Behemoth played this guy. Okay, hello? All right, uh, I think I can win this. I just have to get rid of Zacian. So I'm gonna do something a little wacky. That's Porygon too. I mean, I have Light Screen up. I I think I can take a, an Ice Beam. I'm gonna go Grim Snarl here and Earthquake. Hello? That's a little crazy. That, that, that's a little crazy. They're trying to get this thing. Okay. So what they failed to recognize here is that that was not a good play. I'm going to Spirit Break and Earthquake again. They're just going to recover.
All right, as long as Landris wakes up here, I think we win. Yep. Pretty sure that was guaranteed. Does it get rid of Zacian? And their last Pokemon has to be Groudon, right? They've revealed Recover, Trick Room, and that's it. They may have Thunderbolt, they may have like Eerie Impulse or something. And here what I'm gonna do is something a little crazy. I'm gonna do something a little crazy, right? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Fake Tears onto the Groudon. Switch out my Landris for a, a Kyogre. Because I want to Intimidate again. Now I switch Incoming? Don't care. If I, regardless of what I fake tears, all I have to do is start clicking, like, Max Geyser. And there's no way they quaked into the Lando. I think the more likely play is Quake into the Grim Snarl and uh, Ice Beam into the Kyogre. Yep, wakes up. Fake tears. Incredible. Broken, in fact. And he's white herb. Okay. Okay, not very poggers. Not very poggers. Foul play. Doesn't do, like, anything into ogre. Quake. Hey, he should live that. Yeah. Alright, do you guys want to see a gamer play? Do you guys want to see, like, a real epic gamer play? My team's Reflect War off? Whatever. Just gonna set it up again. Do I even need to? I don't think I need to. This is my gamer play. I'm gonna fake tears the Porygon too. And I'm gonna max geyser it. Why am I gonna max geyser it? Because they're gonna ally switch. Because they think they're slick. They think they're cool, but I'm cooler. Which should be evident by the fact I'm running rain and they're running sun. So they're just like warm. Okay, check this out. Thinking they sly. Oh, they didn't. That's fine. I still get the P2. Why ally switch if water spots the play? Because I should Dynamax here like every time. Because under Trick Room, they're faster. So even though Kyogre and Groudon have like the same speed stat, more often than not, Groudon's going to be slow and Kyogre's going to be fast. So they that's why Groudon tends to run Trick Room and Kyogre doesn't. Okay. There is no reason for me not to just like rock slide or something. I get an Intimidate off here, so they should be able to KO me. How many turns of Trick Room are left? That's going to matter. There's one turn left of Trick Room. Okay. Okay. So. Controversial play. I'm going to Earthquake here, and I'm actually going to Max... Oh, I can't Max Guard. I'm stupid. I'm a silly guy. That means Rock Slide's better. I'm going to target the P2 again. <clears throat> As they're really trying to KO this Kyogre. They shouldn't be able to, though. They really shouldn't be able to. Yeah, they need a crit to do that. So now I get the uh, the P2. I also haven't locked into a move yet, so I can click uh, Origin Pulse. And I'm actually going to Swords Dance with my Lando, because I believe that's optimal. Yeah. Dementia turned to normal. Kyogre is now the fastest thing in the field. What? Yeah. Not not yet, actually. Lando's still faster. Because my scarf is inactive. So here I Swords Dance. And I go for the Geyser. 
They protect, that's fine. Next turn, just Swords Dance again. <laughs> Okay, get this KO. Not even close. In fact, they actually are probably going to live the next one, especially if I miss. Which is why I double sword stance. Because that means they're going to be in range of the... Uh... That means they're going to be in range of the Earthquake, regardless. <clears throat> Dang, they really thought I was going to Earthquake there, but I swords dance twice. I'm built different. Card Captor, thank you. What's up, guy? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. The rain stopped. See if I care. I'm going to swords dance a third time. Why not? Let's swords dance a third time. <laughs> yeah, no, when, when they saw me Swords Dance twice on both Protects, they are like, yeah, I'm not winning that. <laughs> the better that internet win con. Okay, it's the team. What do we do versus the team? We go Landorus. We go Grimmsnarl. We go Kyogre. And finally, we go home and give up. Ferrothorn. Came back to say we were strictly better than in that game. Thanks, EMP. I mean, I think we played it well. We definitely got really unlucky with the burns. And the miss. Easy clickbait how I reached number one by hacking my opponents. I don't think it's the rental, though. It, is the rental in a different order? Or maybe they just built them themselves. Who knows? Moose Cop. Thank you for the follow. Ninety-nine viewers, thanks guys. Almost in a hundred. I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know what the rental looks like. <laughs> Big brain metagame play. Remake the team with a different set, but make sure it's in the same order as the rental with the right, uh, with like the right uh, natures and everything, and like the right genders and stuff. Like just mess with them that way. Like run like all the wrong moves. Put Solar Beam on the Charizard. They let off with Groudon, as the Pokerap likes to say. I always like, I like saying Groudon and Kyogre the way the Pokerap did. Just wrong. Just like objectively wrong. Groudon. I used to not like how they said it, but I guess you could say it grew on me. Okay. Uh, we can Swords Dance here. I'm going to go for my Reflect. Kyogre. <laughs> Groudon will always be Gordon to me. Hello? You just Dynamax your ground on- are you about to like max flare me in my house? In my home? Eating my Lunchables? No. You're at minus one and I'm getting a reflect off. I don't care how strong this move is. Go ahead and Iron Ball me. I don't care. I just want to let you know, if he doesn't hit the ground on here, we are getting extremely greedy and swords dancing again. Steel Spike? What did I tell you guys? What did I say we were going to do? Exactly what we're about to do. Swords Dance. Again. Get in the Ferrothorn? On the second Steel Spike. Pause. Third turn. Switch in. 
the Grim Snarl on the fire move. Next turn, Dynamax the Landorus, KO the Grim Snarl, send in the Kyogre, win. Obviously, that's not how Pokemon actually works. We're going to get crit or something. Uh, we're going to take damage on a Pokemon we didn't expect. My opponent is just going to straight up outplay me, and then I'm going to make up an excuse. That's how you play Pokemon well. You have to make up excuses. If you aren't making up excuses for why you're losing, you're playing the game wrong. Yeah, accounting for the three crits, we should always win. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then and then signal the EMP to take out the router. <laughs> Max Steel Spike onto the Pharaoh. Does nothing. Light screen? Spirit break? That does nothing. Oh yo? Yo? Did I just hear Swords Dance a third time? Did I just did I just hear Swords Dance a third time? That'd be crazy. I could never do that. Anyways. It seems. It seems we might I I might be I, hold on. I might be swords dancing three times, guys. This is extremely greedy. This is how I lost the the match versus Groudon in my in my in my showdown live this morning. Scary face, go for it. Don't care. Literally could not care less. Yep, I have to check the stat sheet. Not foreshadowing at all. I definitely will not be KO'd this turn by a Max Flare. Steel Spike? Don't crit. Oh, yo, that did negligible damage. Negligible. Okay, check it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, there it is. And... Got it. <laughs> oh, that's a tasty looking Grim Snarl, buddy. That's that's a, that's that's quite the tasty looking Grim Snarl. I'm sure mine looks good too, but I'm just going to go ahead and light screen real quick. I'm sorry, sir. No scary no amount of scary faces is going to save you from Landers. <laughs> There's no amount of scary faces that could save him at this point. The scariest face is is, is in front of him at this at this very moment. Yeah, now you're slower than the Groudon. And the Groudon's gonna be like, and I'm gonna heat crash you, even though that's a bad play. It'd be really funny if the heat crash. Did he just heavy slam me? Like, I'm not going to eat that up like Reese's Puffs? And... Oh, wow. I forgot that he got, like, a ton of Steel Spikes. That's my bad. That's on me. That's on me. That's 100% on me. Okay. I'm going to Airstream it again. But I'm going to get in my Kyogre here. <laughs> and now we got, like, a little double scarf action. Got a little double scarf action going on. Yeah, now you are slow. Weakest plus six Lando I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean like they're at plus six defense. <laughs> or they're at plus three defense in in a in a in a reflect. Like of course it's not gonna do that much. Did they ever light screen? Guys, I don't think they light screened. Nice crit. Could have could have used that a turn ago. Okay, we're officially at minus two speed. Yo, I feel bad for what's about to happen. This Charizard? This Charizard right here? It's gone. Destroyed. 
never to return. Okay, but do I care? I'm fairly certain we eat the hit. Oh, maybe we don't, though. But what if we don't? Alright, my play here is actually going to be to quake... I'm going to quake the Groudon in case they go into the um, the Gastrodon and I live. And I water spout here. Because there's no way they didn't bring it, right? There's no way they didn't. No, no, he shouldn't protect the Zacian. He should attack. But I think I just barely live it with screens up. Because Behemoth Blade would KO me usually. Okay, it seems there was no need. <laughs> we just crit it. <laughs> Dude, this, this Kyogre is going to get more KOs than the, than the Landorus will. This Kyogre is literally going to get more KOs than Lando. Oh, there's Gastrodon. Now I can take out all my pent-up anger on Gastrodon as a Pokemon. Alright, what's my speed stat? I think I'm still faster than every Gastrodon on Earth. Hold on. I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly. Aw, that's sad. I really wanted that. I really wanted to take up my Penta Banger on Gastrodon. That sucks. Okay, good game. Got the win, though. Got the win. That's all that matters.